Hey crew, Adam here again. One of the things I've been battling over these last couple weeks is keeping my GPU cooler. One, it's getting hotter, so the ambient temperature in my house is going up. And then two, I've just been running the snot out of Visualize and just using my GPU like a lot. And then and then also because you know between running Visualize and Zoom simultaneously or some recording software, you're even using more and more resources. And so everything's just naturally heating up. Now, one of the things I was kind of disappointed with on the RTX A6000 was the fan curve. Um, it just essentially lets the lets the GPU get as hot as it wants and then finally kicks in. And so I wanted something a little bit more linear. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today, and this would really apply for anyone utilizing their GPU for any application, not just say visualize, but you know any other sort of rendering applications that you guys use. And so uh, uh, one solution that I found that was really convenient, and, and there's a whole bunch out there, but the one that I was gonna show you guys today is MSI Afterburner. So this is largely like a gaming sort of application, but that doesn't have to be, right? It can also be for us workstation type folks. And so this is actually designed so that you can like overclock your GPU. Definitely do not recommend that when you're running workstation cards. They're specifically designed to run stable. So don't screw with that, right? But um, one of the things that I, that I did want to adjust was actually the fan curve. Just to increase the fan curve a little bit, to keep this thing generally, just to keep it cooler, so I get more longevity out of it. Okay, so let's take a look now at my visualized screen. And you can see that it's it's. I, I just started a render not too long ago, and it, it's it's cooled down now to 50C. But I'm gonna go ahead and kick this render off again, and we're gonna watch this thing kind of jump up. I'm gonna move my my uh, afterburner uh, information there, and we'll go ahead and reset. You can see it jumps up almost right away. 51, 52. We're at 20 passes. 53, 52, 53. MSI Afterburner is doing its job, right? It is. Um, it's controlling the fan curve, such that uh, we are increasing the fan speed given temperature. So if I if I look at this setting here, and I go to my fan, I can see that I've overridden the default fan curve from NVIDIA so that I have 20% 20 20 fan speed at 50C and then at you know 60C or let's just go like 70C it's at 50 fan speed at 80C it's at 65 fan speed and at 100 at 70C it's at 100 fan speed so it's going to be maximum maximum amount of um, heat transfer essentially uh, maximum fan speed at 70C. So if I go back to my rendering, well, let's let, let this tick up here a little bit and we can see how MSI is going to be helping us out. And you can imagine how bad this would have been or how fast the temperature would have gone up if I didn't have this fan curve working for me, right? 55, 56, 57. I'm going to speed up this part of the video. Okay, we can see it kind of plateau at 64. And that's telling me that, but like, hey, look, that fan curve's appropriate, right? So if we go ahead and kill the fan curve, let's reset the stage here. And let's see how fast this thing climbs. Let's go ahead and wait for this thing to get down a little bit lower. Uh, maybe like the 50, the 50C area here. Okay, so we're about down to 53, 52C. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close MSI. That doesn't kill it actually. It just runs in the background. So we will need to kill the process. Okay. So MSI has now been turned off. And my idle temperature has gone from about 50C to 61C, 62C. And I'm not even rendering. So let's go ahead and give this thing a render. Turn that render on and watch the temperature go up. It's a pretty significant difference when you apply the fan curve, right? Remember before we plateaued at 64C. Now we're up in the 70s, 71, 72. Starting our render over again, 72. Surprise is not getting higher actually, 73. 
I want to say I've got this up to about 78C in the past, which I felt like was just too high. And I'm only showing you this for the sake of the video, but really just installing, you know, some basic software like MSI Afterburner and just adjusting the, the fan curve can make quite a big difference, right? And, and also just increase the longevity of your, of your GPU. The other thing to consider too, is that the GPU is also heating up your computer case. So by having the fan in, inside the GPU, you know, respond correctly, it'll also lower the ambient temperature inside your computer case, which is good for all your other components too. So it looks like we're peaking at about 81, 82, significantly different from 64, 63, 64. And if you're one of the folks who doesn't mind, you know, a lot of noise, then you could even shift this fan curve higher than what it is now. 64 is pretty tolerable, the fan curve that I had before, but you could, you could in theory, just have this thing blowing a hundred percent the whole time, which I, I wouldn't recommend, but it, it, you know, it's pretty noisy. It's pretty loud. So anyway, that's, that's my take on how you, a visualized user, might be able to leverage MSI Afterburner to keep your temperatures on your GPUs down. Also, if you if you happen to be running gaming GPUs while you're rendering in, in Visualize, you totally can. Gaming GPUs do have that extra bonus of, you know, having a little bit higher clock speeds, maybe a little, like 10% more power, generally speaking, but often run hotter in Visualize. And so this is something that you'll have to take care of. I wouldn't recommend overclocking them if that's if you're actually using it for visualize or not, but uh, just adjusting the fan curve would go a long way on those gaming cards and it would keep them from crashing so they would crash less often, essentially. So, hey, my name's Adam Hughes. That's my take on how you can decrease the temperatures in your GPU for you know visualize renders. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It's Adam Hughes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.